Hey, so this is a tutorial on how to reverse, uh, get that reverse sweep sound um, with any instrument. We're going to be using a grand piano, but a way to get that sound while keeping the chord structure intact. So check it out. So I'm going to, I'm going to play two different, uh, basically the original. Um, and this, I use grand piano. You can just go up to the top here, search grand piano uh, .adg. And you should be able to find this is just, it's an Ableton, uh, it's right in Ableton, so you shouldn't have any problem with it. But uh, basically, so this is the original here. I just played some chords. Alright, so you get the idea. And then I turn that into this here. So in order to get this effect, um, it's going to go back into the original here. So, and I'll include these chords as a MIDI file in case you want to use the exact chords I, I did. Um, but you can do this with obviously with anything. You can do it with individual notes, um, anything you want to use, any type of instrument. So. We're going to go ahead, go into the MIDI here, click on reverse here, and that's going to um, reverse it so that this is at the beginning, this is the first chord, this is the second chord, this is the third chord, this is the fourth chord. And then we're going to reverse it again when it's an audio waveform to bring it back to the original chord structure, but having that reverse effect that I just showed you earlier. So we'll click reverse. Now it should be reversed. Playing backwards now, but we're gonna reverse it again, like I said. So let's go ahead now and uh, freeze the track. Uh, in case you're not familiar with freezing, this also frees up CPU uh, power. So if you get a lot of tracks, a lot of different uh, CPU intensive plugins, then you can freeze them and that'll free, free up room for more. But uh, for this purpose, we're going to flatten it as well, which turns it into an audio uh, waveform. And now we want to click this button to reverse it. And actually, uh, first, we want to make sure we got just this selection here because this is our four bar pattern. And then we're going to click Command E, and that just creates it uh, basically just this selection. So it cuts it right there. And then we're going to want to hit Command J, and that consolidates it. So now it's just these four bars, uh, nothing more. And then we want to click this reverse button. And now it's reversed. And for uh, the warp mode, uh, usually you can use Tones, Texture, Complex, or Complex Pro. Um, Beats basically for drums and repitch. If you, uh, I can't remember exactly. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, but anyway, so we want to go to complex here. Um, so usually I use complex or complex pro. And then if you play it back, you're going to get that same effect. And now, as well, since it's in waveform you can chop it however you want just like you're sampling so you just sample your own material basically and so just command C command V you know select what you want command V and then select here and if you press command D then you can keep duplicating over the period or the your selection basically so it'll you'll duplicate that and if you keep pressing command D so you have this and then take the end here so the loudest part this is your second chord and hit command v command d command d command d this is your third chord so the loudest part go back to the beginning of this third bar and d command d command d and same thing here so now it sounds like this house vibe I suppose um, but you can really go anywhere anywhere 
from there. So, that's pretty much that. Um, hope you liked it.